Is anybody there? Is anybody there? I'm just going to hang out here till somebody says hey. Hello, hello. I got my hair all pulled off my forehead today. It looked like... <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's with me. There, Sheila. <laughs> Thought I was all alone. How are you, Sheila? Is anybody else going to join? Martha, how is everybody? I'm a little, I don't know, a little tired today, but that's all right. It's all good. Um, not going to be with you long today. I'm not even going to do supper tonight. Hey, Melinda. Uh, I've actually got supper on right now, and I'm not doing much. I'm just going to do some wings. Just doing some chicken wings. Might fry down some french fries. I don't know. I'm not, not doing much. I'm, I'm good, Sheila. Thank you for asking. Uh, but I want to do a quick little thing tonight that I've been wanting to do uh, all week, and I just haven't had time to do it. So, uh, like I said, tonight I'm just cooking some chicken wings in my, in my foodie. Whoop! It's over there. You can see it on the counter. So it's, I'm about to pull my thing off. Oh, oh it's wanting to pull off. So that's what I'm doing for supper. Um, but this is our anniversary. Uh, tomorrow's my anniversary, so tomorrow night I'll be back doing an anniversary supper. So y'all join me. You can see what I'm gonna cook up for our anniversary supper. But with it being our anniversary week, I wanted to make something that Donnie really loves. Something special for him this week, and he loves cornflake cookies. So they're so simple. And so easy. So I'm just going to make some cornflake cookies real quick and show y'all how I do it. I haven't made them in a long time. Actually, I forgot my peanut butter. So let me get my little other measuring cup out. So I'm just going to show y'all how I make my cornflake cookies, okay? So I got some syrup, some white syrup, and I'm going to put a cup of syrup. Ooh, I got that on my hand. I can't stand sticky, y'all. I gotta get that off. Get my pan over here. Now, this is an old pan. It looks awful. But this is my heavy. It's thick and heavy. It's actually an old pressure cooker that I used to use years ago. But I use this for making all my candies because it's real heavy, thick. And so, like, when I make my peanut brittle, this is my peanut br brittle pan. So, I like to make use it for making candies and stuff. I got a cup of sugar. And I've got a cup of syrup. White syrup. White Cairo syrup or just whatever white corn syrup. These are really healthy. Really good for you. that together and a cup of peanut butter now I like the extra crunchy but if you like smooth you can do the smooth I didn't get anything I needed tonight I don't know I'm not my 
phone off because I've got a cord plugged in it. Alright. Here we go. <laughs> so let me dig out some peanut butter. A cup. This is a cup, a cup, a cup. So a cup of sugar, a cup of syrup, and a cup of your favorite peanut butter. And I'm going to put all this together, put it on the stove, and bring it to a bowl. Not going to boil it really long or anything. I'm just going to kind of let the sugar melt, let everything melt together, bring it to a bowl. will be happy because I've been talking about doing these all week so uh, he'll be glad I finally did them so I'm gonna let that start getting warm and melt down hi Amy hey Dale hey Russell and um, I got a long spoon with this gas heat this gas stove you gotta have a long spoon or you will burn your hand. <laughs> I can tell you that. So let me go ahead and get this mixing together. And you don't, you don't wanna leave your spoon in the pan either cause it'll, when you go and grab it and start stirring, it'll be hot. <laughs> So that's what I'm making tonight. I'm making cornflake cookies. And that may be what I eat for supper. No, it's not. It's got protein in it. It's got peanut butter. So that's your protein. <laughs> I've got chicken wings cooking. <laughs> BJ introduced you to us. <laughs> yeah, Donnie loves them too. My mama makes them a lot of times with... Uh, Cheerios. We like them with Cheerios, but now Donnie, he doesn't like Cheerios, so he likes them with the, the cornflakes. We always had these in school. We have them in school a lot of times, too. So, uh, But my mama, she will make them with cornflakes or with Cheerios, but she prefers them with the Cheerios. So, they're really good with um, the cornflakes. That's his favorite. And you can buy them sometimes, like I've bought them at the store before. I've stopped at um, Quick Mart and they'll have them sometimes. But they're just, they're pre-packaged. They're not as good as the homemade ones. <laughs> Nowhere near. So let me just get this stuff started. Now you have to be careful with them. Because if you boil them too much, um, they'll get too hard. And you still eat them, but they'll get too hard. Hey, Regina. Carrie, didn't, didn't you never eat them at school? I thought we had them at school. Thought we did. Maybe we didn't. Maybe I had them when I got home from school. Maybe that was it. I thought we had them in the cafeteria, though. So just joining me I'm making cornflake cookies um I got sugar and syrup everywhere my hands got sticky again so I'm gonna use uh, this parchment paper never ate them at school hey Legina I'm making cornflake cookies tomorrow is mine and Donnie's 28 I know I'm not much older than 28 but 28 28 wedding uh, anniversary. So, I'm making him cornflake cookies tonight. He's not getting much supper tonight, but he's getting cornflake cookies. He'll get a good supper tomorrow night. Y'all come back tomorrow night because I've got some plans. It's going to be easy, but it's going to be a good, um, <laughs> Megan, Jake said we'll be on your porch in a little bit, but <laughs> I know, Megan, they're so good. <laughs> All right, y'all, it's starting to come to a bowl. I 
just want to make sure my sugar gets melted. It's not hardly boiling, but I don't want it to burn. because you were born in July, the year that Donnie and I got married in August. So, I can always keep up with how old Jake is. He's getting old. This is starting to come to a boil. And I can sit down it much because they'll get too hard. I mean, we still eat them, but you know, you're not going to pull a tooth out or something. <laughs> you're afraid you are. Okay, Alright, I'm not going to stir it for just a minute. I'm going to let it bubble all over. Okay, that's that's good. I'm done. I'm not going to boil it anymore because I'm afraid it'll get too hard. So now, it's set, uh, the, most of the recipes I saw say six cups of cornflakes. Mama said just she just adds them until she thinks there's enough. So, I'm going to stir this around and get it, get it incorporated in. I'm going to... That might have been too many. Yeah, I just swapped them out on the counter and everywhere, but that's what happens. Hope I didn't boil them too long. Get them mixed in good. Once I get them all mixed in, Gonna kind of crunch them up a little bit. Then I'm gonna spoon them out on this parchment paper and let them cool. So, here we go. Let me just, I should have got a smaller spoon, but I didn't. So, I'm just gonna spoon them out. It's right here. <laughs> yeah, Jake, it's been, tell Jake it, it's been 25 years. It, yeah, he just wishes he was 25. Wish I was 25. Y'all, it seems unreal that I've been married for 28 years. Uh, it says, the recipes that I looked at say six cups of cornflakes. So, you know, give or take, depending on how dry you want them, how you want them, you know, around six. I wouldn't do over six cups because I did six cups here and they, uh, they're, they really got a lot in them. So, um, but just to recap, and I make big cookies. Um, just to recap, it was a cup of peanut butter, a cup of white syrup, and a cup of sugar. And you just bring that to a boil. You don't boil it long because you don't want them to get too hard. You want them to stay chewy. Chewy, chewy. And then take it off the heat and mix in the uh, cornflakes. Get them mixed in all good together. And you can make them pretty if you want to. I mean, uniform in size and shape if you are good at that. That, so. I just, 
slot mine on here and however they come out that's that's how they come out like I said before my style is called rustic see that's what you say when you can't do things perfect you call it rustic <laughs> So, I can't do anything perfect, so it's rustic. And if you buy, if you get, if you try to sneak a bite too early, um, you're going to be in trouble because it will melt the roof of your mouth. <laughs> and then you'll be not able to eat the rest of them because your mouth will be peeling off. <laughs> I've been known to do that. I did that. Oh, I know what I did. I was going to say, I did that this weekend. I made some more pepper jelly this weekend. Jalapeno pepper jelly. And I did a tweak on it. Changed it up a little bit. And I wanted to see how it tasted. So, I dipped me a spoon in it. And, and it literally, like, stuck to the roof of my mouth. <laughs> I mean, it didn't stop me from eating, but it was a painful, it was a painful meal. My next meal was. I still ate, though. I ate salsa, actually, and it was really painful. <laughs> I had made salsa. I made some salsa, too, and it was so good. I'm almost there. You can see this makes you of course if I didn't make them so big it would make more but I like to make them big that way I if I only I can say you know I only ate one cookie I don't feel so bad all right y'all see they're starting to sit up in my pan so I'm just going to scrape this last one out here and put it on the, put it on the paper. Okay, there we go. So, that's it. Here's the one that's kind of got off to the side. Mmm, they're so good. So that's it, y'all. That's how you make cornflake cookies. Simple and easy. And you'll be everybody's favorite if you make these and take them to them. Let's see what's in my mouth. Mm -hmm. mm. oh. It's cooled down enough that I can eat it off the spoon now. <laughs> All right, that's it. I just wanted to, uh, sorry, I'm talking on my apple. I just wanted to come on a few minutes today and say hi to everybody and show y'all how to make cornflake cookies. So if you missed it, start back over and watch it from the beginning and make you some cornflake cookies. You know, with all the little kids starting school this week, this would be a great treat for them to come home to. Give it a try. See how you like it. Come back tomorrow night and we're gonna have a, an anniversary supper Outback style. Come back and join us. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye everybody.